I like to come up here a lot just to, to look at the valley and remember why we're here. This place, this entire valley, you know, it means a lot to me from our history. Our ancestral land goes beyond this valley, goes beyond those mountains and the next valley. One of the main threats that we've had since the 70s is the coal mining and coal industry trying to come on the reservation and border the reservation into establishing coal mines. And the coal mine that we're fighting would essentially um, destroy these mountains. Everything you see behind me wouldn't look like this again. For me, that's terrifying. You know, we don't want to mess with the land. We don't want to do anything to destroy our land. Our people need jobs. The two biggest things they say is that that's it, that it's going to bring our people jobs and revenue and we'll become rich if we do develop a mine. As for jobs within solar energy, a lot of our people are looking towards that. Green energy would benefit our people. Our culture, you know, there's an understanding that the sun and the wind that's always given us energy are always benefiting from it. You know, I'd like to see culture replaced with the wind farms and solar farms, the mine coming down, the plant coming down, but the power grid still intact because our Cheyenne Nation could benefit off of that power grid if we produce our own energy. Through green energy, there is a lot of jobs, probably even more jobs than what the coal mine would bring. For us, some of us um, traditional people, we try to do this project because it doesn't go against our beliefs. It doesn't go against our, our values as compared to like coal mines where you, you're digging up the land and you're desecrating what the creator has placed and made to be there. We're thinking about our children and our grandchildren already. This is the lifestyle that we want to push for so they can have the same land that we have, so they can see the beauty in this land.